Okay, Lewesta. Let's start, as you said, down here. Planter and dorsal pedalis. Okay. Uh, again, anterior tibial. Okay. On the lateral side of the tibia, by the fibula, fibula or peroneal. Behind the knee, or pluteal. The back of the leg here, all right, is still relatively superficial, but we still have the femoral. Small vessels around the knee, genicular. Genicular. Okay. You know this is femoral because you can see it's going over the femur. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. But only in the leg. Same here with the vein, femoral. Right. Now, once we are in the body, we have the iliacs, external iliac, external iliac, all this. Internal iliac, internal iliac, common iliac, common iliac. Abdominal aorta, descending abdominal aorta, inferior vena cava. Gonadals, head, if you're lucky. And those go straight down to the gonads. To the gonads, right. okay. Inferior mesenteric, mm -hmm. superior mesenteric. Which one? Let me get the one that's supposed to be right there. That, but it's not. Oh, it's a little nub yeah, there. A little nub, all right. It's, it's branching out into many parts of the mesenteric. Okay. Celiac trunk. Right there. Mm -hmm. Celiac trunk gives a splenic branch, an hepatic branch, a gastric branch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Renal arteries and veins. Okay. Uh, here we have portal veins going into the inferior vena cava. Remember the, the, the this is the, the portal veins. So this is the liver flowing into the inferior vena cava. All right. The heart, of course, you've got the atria and the ventricle right and left. Leaving the right ventricle, the pulmonary artery, which is oxygen poor, coming back from the lung, red oxygen rich veins going into the left atria. From the aorta we have the ascending aorta, the aortic arch. We have the branchiocephalic or nominate artery, the left common carotid and the left subclavian. On this side we have Superior vena cava, tributaries of it are the right and from the right and left branchiocephalics, also called anominates, the common jugular or internal jugular, the subclavians, okay, and then you can see uh, branches, tributaries of this subclavian would have been the cephalic, the brachial, and the basilic. Basilic on the inner aspect of the arm the cephalic going over the head of the humerus, and the brachial going down next to the actual arm or brachium. Mm -hmm. uh, you can think, if you think of the vein, the vein that has the same name as the artery, the brachial artery, is usually the vein closest to that artery and next to the bone. All right, uh, what else do you have? As you continue on down, cephalic continues, basilic continues, uh, brachial continues and then gives rise to a network here and if you look at the arm you may actually have a network where you have cephalic and then you might have what is called radial in this case because of thumb then you might have another one in the middle which we call median if you wish then another one which you could call uh, ulna and then you could call basilic mm -hmm. but for the arteries we just have the three ulna, median, radial they, the arteries continue on down from the brachial, and you can see they form those three branches, and then they form the arch, which is a palmar arch or a dorsal arch of the hand. The veins also form an arch, but the arch of the veins is more open. Um, smaller ones here, we might have, for example, the subclavicular, pretty rudimentary one, or the clavicular. Uh, we have the internal carotid going up, and then once it gets deep into the head, here, the part that goes over would be the external carotid, giving rise to different branches. Like here, we have the mandibular or facial, the uh, ophthalmic, the temporal, so you can name them for where they are. The veins also, the superficial ones from the scalp. Again, we can use the same names, facial or mandibular, and they can join to make the external jugular, uh, and then the internal jugular. So the external jugular may continue all the way down to the 
subclavian independently, or they may join early uh, with the internal jugular. Which one's the jugular. external and which one's the internal? External means it goes outside the skull. Okay. Internal goes into the skull. Right. Okay? Okay. All right. So that's mainly most of it for that.